Hi guys, Todd James here. In this video we're going to talk about Shopify stores. It's not something I've covered a lot on this channel. I've been engaged with Shopify since basically the invention of Shopify and I've done really well with it. We've taught a lot of people how to do well with it and I think it's high time we make a couple of videos talking about it. Um, I'm going to start this with, with a question that, that I hear all the time and, and this is not a new question, I'm sure all of you have already heard it as well, but, but in doing a Shopify store, should I do a general store or should I do some type of store focusing on a particular sector or a particular product uh, or a, a niche as they say? Well, before I answer that, I want to turn your thinking around and I want to ask you how do you plan to market your store? That is the first question you should ask yourself and not only in this situation but in almost every other situation involving selling of anything. How will I find my market and how will I reach that market? If you're selling everything, who is your market? Now, people respond to this, people that take our classes respond to this and say, well, everyone, and, and, and they say it as if it's a good thing. Well, it's, it's really not, because when everyone is your market, that means your marketing has to be incredibly broad-based. It has to be incredibly general, and, and more than likely, you're going to spend a lot of money because you've got to reach a lot of people. So the answer to the question, should I do a general store or should I do a, a store with a more narrow focus, the answer is yes, you should do a store with more narrow focus or a niche. A niche. That's why most people say it, but honestly I'm not sure if the people who are out here telling you to do these niche stores really understand fully why they're saying it, but, but it is going to be a more successful um, endeavor for you if you can um, focus on, on a more narrow market uh, as opposed to a, a broader market. Uh, it's easier to reach those people, you can identify those people and if you look at our previous video talking about um, uh, the ideal client and, and avatars, uh, I think this video combined with that video uh, will, will, will be a very powerful lesson for you so definitely look up that video. Uh, I'll link it below. But anyway, now, now we're talking about uh, a, a store, a Shopify store uh, with a narrow focus, uh, a niche. My first Shopify store sold pool furniture or outdoor furniture, furniture for, um, you know, to use around the swimming pool, to use on your, in your backyard, um, that type of thing. It's not something that I had particular interest in. It's not something that I was an expert in. But I had the opportunity to work with a couple of different manufacturers uh, of high-end outdoor uh, living furniture. And I thought, okay, this is a great time to start a Shopify store. So I started the Shopify store uh, and built it around uh, this outdoor furniture but rather than go out and try and sell this to people living in houses, I actually bought an email list of property managers and did an email blast to out to about 3,000 different uh, property managers that met my criteria. And my criteria was that the property managers had to manage um, apartment complexes that A, had swimming pools and B, had at least 300 units. Uh, available for rent. So I had a couple or 3,000 email uh, addresses and I sent out a blast to them uh, in the winter time saying basically that you know springtime will be here before you know it, your pool will be opening, isn't it time to do a facelift for your pool, blah 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 and sent them a link to my Shopify page well, the, the, the page exploded. It took off. 
Uh, now it didn't take off immediately. Uh, again, I sent this out in, as I recall, January or February of that year. But by late March, early April, uh, orders were flowing in at a fairly rapid rate. And this was strictly at the time, this was strictly drop shipping. Uh, a lot of these items were fairly large, but um, it was being drop shipped. I didn't have to store anything. I didn't have to touch anything. Uh, really all I had done was put up a, a nice looking store offering a variety of outdoor furniture and, and, and presenting it in a professional manner. That's all I do now. Uh, you know, here I am six, seven years later and, and that's the same process I still go through. But the Shopify store did tremendous business. Uh, continues to do tremendous business actually every year. It's, it's very seasonal. But I make sales year round, but 90% of my sales come in that, that early spring to early summer period. But anyway, just wanted to, to give you this as an example of, of why a, a niche store is, is your better option between uh, choosing between a, a narrow focus store and, and a broader focus store. And also wanted to give you this marketing example of how you can, can really target a very specific market, market for your products without going out there and, and beating the bushes and trying to sell to a much broader audience. So essentially, just, just to finish this up, I want you to understand, I've, I've shown you a, a, a niche store, giving you an example and a case study of, of this narrowly focused store. And then I've, I've shown you another example of how you take the focus in your marketing down to an even even finer point, really laser targeting uh, the people that you want to sell to. Uh, again, th these products, these were, you know, it was outdoor furniture, uh, the, the market is broad certainly uh, anyone who's got who spends time outdoors in their backyard who has a pool at home uh, they're potential clients for it but what I wanted to do was to find clients that I knew had a need and and the need was substantial and the need was immediate and and it's always nice to sell things to people where they're not writing the checks themselves they're a prop, in this case, a property management firm that has to maintain the property to certain levels and I'm providing them the tools to help them maintain their property. So, so the sale, once you identify that market and, and that clientele, the sale was relatively easy to make. Um, it required no time or effort really on the part of the property manager. They made their selections, they entered a credit card number and two weeks later a truck pulls up with a bunch of furniture for their swimming pool. So there's several lessons to, to learn in this video. Watch it again if you need to, but, um, but, but take this lesson to heart. Uh, definitely um, in almost every circumstance uh, a niche store is, is potentially more lucrative and, and it's, it's much much easier to market and, and to reach your clientele with a niche store. And, and think once you have your niche store, look at your marketing in detail and think, who, how can I really target the most aggressive buyers for my product? And I think you'll, if, you, if you go through this exercise, I think you'll, um, you'll be surprised at how effective uh, your marketing becomes and how quickly uh, your store can be successful. Take care.